Next, let's queer up entertainment. Little Nas X documentary targeted by bomb threat at film festival, delaying release. The world premiere of Little Nas X's documentary, Lil Nas X, Long Live Montero, at Toronto International Film Festival was delayed due to a bomb threat potentially targeting the artist. Organizers were informed of the threat, causing Lil Nas X to delay his arrival. Co-directors Carlos Lopez Estrada and Zach Manuel, as well as editor Andrew Moro, were already on the red carpet when the threat was received. A source tells Variety the threat specifically targeted Lil Nas X, though a film fest rep said it was a general threat and not directed at the film or artist. They did say Toronto police told them of an investigation near the red carpet and that standard security measures would remain in place. After a 20-minute delay and a security sweep, Little Nas X joined his team on the red carpet, and the screening began around 10.30 p.m. in Toronto. You know, I've covered Toronto International Film Festival, or TIFF, many times. It's, this is always an amazing week up there, because you see like what are going to be awards baits films. I have a feeling this one is going to get uh, some documentary love as we move in towards awards season. And they, I, I never felt unsafe there. Like police, I always felt like they were on top of their game, whether you were just going to do interviews at a hotel with stars or if you were going to a screening. So I'm glad to hear everyone was okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like that there's some confusion. Was it directed at him? I mean, it's easy to project that something would have been yeah. targeting him. Um, but there's a lot of crazies out there. But I'm just glad that little Nas was able to come get his red carpet love that he so, so deserves. Well, you know the end of the world is coming when... Film festivals are getting bomb threats. I mean, seriously, film festivals, that's just completely ridiculous. But let's hope that Lil Nas X, Long Live Montero, isn't a box office bomb as well. Oh. oh too soon, <laughs> right. Too soon. That's right. Canada just did a collective. Uh. <laughs> well, Lil Nas X actually looked extremely fabulous mm -hmm. in the red carpet. Let me tell you, I mean, that hair was astounding everything, everything. It was i amazing. know like i i wish i had hair like that <laughs> as do greg and i <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of truth to that um, you know the one thing that uh, is a surprise to me is um canada um doesn't basically protest anything no. uh, canada is canada for a reason it's canada um, it's an indication of this creep that's going on, largely exported out of the mm. United States. Uh, you know, Canada has said, for example, uh, we have a warning for our LGBTQ community of traveling to the United States and certain states. And while they did not specifically say Florida, they meant Florida and Texas and Tennessee and, well, you get it. Um, and, and this is kind of reverse creep back into mm. Canada. Why you would call a bomb threat in, and very likely it was an absolute fake, mm -hmm. but it's an indication of some of, even in, you know, moderate of the moderate neutral. of the Canadians, yes. the neutrals yes. in Canada of how this is tricking mm. and trickling in. Oh, yeah. And, and the protest over Little Nas X and this film is obviously the target of it, mm -hmm. which is sad to me. Um, it, it's just a new reality that we've just got to get used to. The reason this makes the show tonight is because it's Toronto. If this was in Atlanta, we wouldn't even think twice about it. If this was in Dallas, we wouldn't even think mm -hmm. twice about it. If this was in Tallahassee, it might have happened. Um, mm -hmm. So as a result, you know, it's a situation where the story relevance here is because it's Canada mm -hmm. and it's Toronto. Yes. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.